Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. This is when it tries to rebuild some fat storage through the fructose that gets metabolized within your liver. The end result is the skinny fat fruitarian look. Congratulations. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Nathan Mulder with his video How I Would Transition to a Raw Vegan Diet Now After Five and a Half Years Raw Vegan. I truly doubt that anybody can be a true raw vegan for five and a half years. Let's have a look. Do you ever think back about how you would do things different if you could do them over again? Five no. and a half years ago, I transitioned to a raw food diet. It went something like this. Why do you itch so much? Oh, I, I can't sleep. Looking back now, I would have done many things differently. So let's go over them. When I switched to my raw food diet, I looked like this. I had been somewhat of a junk food. So he says that he was eating a lot of junk food. Sure, he's a little flabby in the midsection, but he holds good muscle mass. You can see that on the shoulders and on the traps, even the chest is pronounced. He does have a good amount of muscle and overall looks pretty healthy. Addict for a couple of years and I couldn't count the times I'd eaten fruit on one hand. I switched yes. from a junk bodybuilding diet to vegetarian to the junk bodybuilding diet. There is no such thing as a junk bodybuilding diet. Either you were on a bodybuilding diet or you were eating junk food. I switched from a junk bodybuilding diet to vegetarian to vegan in eight months. By the time yeah. I made my raw transition, I basically ate the standard vegan cooked diet with junk. Jumping straight into fruits and vegetables was a recipe for disaster. And a disaster it was. It's a recipe for disaster either way. So what I would do differently now is transition slower. I would have taken at least one month to slowly introduce more fruits and raw vegetables into my diet. At wow. the same time, I would have slowly decreased the ratio of cooked foods in my diet and cut out vegan junk food at the same time. This would have allowed my body to graduate. Wow, man. Dude, you lost all of your muscle mass. Do you really believe you're healthy now or what? So get used to the switch in diets. A good option <laughs> yeah. would have been to transition to raw hey. four eventually, where you eat raw foods until 4 p.m. and at the end of the day, you have a cooked wow. meal or two. Here you can think of fruits for breakfast, a smoothie for lunch, and then whatever vegan cooked meal you want at Why? night. These slower approaches would have made my transition less aggressive and not overwhelming. Uh, but dude, if it is your species-specific diet, why would you need a slow approach? Anybody, no matter if vegan, raw vegan, hardcore fruitarian, can eat raw fish, raw meat right away. There are no issues whatsoever. How can that be? Did not result in cleansing reactions tormenting me for three weeks straight. Yes, that's how your body should react to its species-specific diet, with allergic reactions. In the room, or rather the one in my yeah. belly. I had major indigestion and constipation, which resulted in major bloating all the time. I could not eat salads. If I would touch just a bunch of lettuce, I would get bloated big time. I would literally wake up bloated. It was actually pretty comical, but also very painful and frustrating. So this It's pretty comical that you believe now you're eating healthy. meant I could only eat fruit, which made my cleansing reactions worse and also sort of made me bloated. Now you might say, why didn't you try smoothies? Well, I did. Bloated. It took me almost eight months before I could tolerate wow. a simple salad without getting bloated wow. and getting a stomach. Man, it's all gone, dude, and you're making fun of it by having this one carrot in front of you. This is literally all you're eating. You're just eating plants. You are not a herbivore. Eating a plants-only diet will lead to malnutrition. Just look into the mirror. I was able to manage a smoothie after about six and a half months wow. without pain and bloating. It took ages. Why wow. was this? Well, I was completely and utterly constipated and full of uneliminated waste matter. Sure. Basically, I was backed up big time and full of shit. So anything I put in wow. was extremely really slowed us. down by everything blocking my digestive tract, or it would just simply get stuck. Mm. At the same time, I wasn't used to digesting any of these foods. Neither was my gut flora. So this made it even worse. So instead of suffering and struggling for eight months, I would have really enthusiastic about this. simply done a juice fast and fixed this entire issue in three months' time. I would have flushed fixed out my it. entire yeah, digestive sure. system. Just look at vegetable police. He fixed himself as well. ...system and all the fixed, fixed blockages and reset my gut flora at the same time. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here we are. I'm in getting such strong ex-vegan vibes from you already. Documentation of some of my clients who are in my juice fasting program. They're addressing <laughs> the problem at the core. They're flushing out everything that's basically preventing them from having good digestion. It's causing bloating. It's causing what kind of results are you providing those clients to lose all the muscle mass like you did? It's causing wow. all kinds of issues. Here we have one of them. 
He's pooping about 10 times a day, <laughs> solid chunks. All of it stank, day in, day out. The only thing he's drinking is juice. Five liters of fluids he's pumping in every day. Here he says, plus a lot of mucus Whoa. coming out through throat and in stools. Here we have the daily documentation of another one of my clients. He's drinking seven liters a day, right? Seven liters of fluids. He's having sticky and solid stuff come out. It's so sticky. He He's so serious about it, so concentrated. Here, look at this protocol. Look at it, look at it. Watch the toilet a couple of times. Just imagine that sticking into your bowels. Here on day 21, wow. right? Day 21 of not eating, drinking only. You definitely watch too much John Rose. It's part of your movement, it's part of your posture. For sure. Hard, solid, mucus movement. He actually privately messaged me and told me like, what a relief to get this out. It's unbelievable this is coming out of me. Wow, so hard and dry. Now it's not only <laughs> men having this. Here's a woman. Day 12, a big day. Man, why wouldn't you try to eat just raw meat for a while? See how your body would detox. Okay, two solids with liquids, five solids, still solid stuff coming out. And every day she's getting this yellow mucus out as well. On day 13, yellow mucus. Day 14, yellow mucus. Day 15, yellow mucus. He's completely mentally ill. He really tries to act interested in what he has to say. Mucus. Lots of solids and stuff. Now this is the reason why you're having indigestion. This is the reason why you're having bloating. This is why you're constipated. This is why you're having all these problems. Because this is what's inside of you. And all of them are eliminating it, <laughs> getting to the root cause of the problem. And they're gonna fix it in three months instead of me suffering for eight. Hey, without knowing the guy, I bet you he is a follower of John Rowe. I have to repeat this one more time. Longer, for example, you Guaranteed. longer as well. This is the highway to cleaning out your bowels and getting rid of these problems. Now, when you're interested in a juice fest, there's a link down below, my complete guide to juice fasting. It will tell you everything you need to know about a juice fest. And when you are interested in the program, there's a link down below as well for us to get in contact. By the time I did my long juice fest. <laughs> yes, please teach me your ways. Here's a raw food. My bloating issues had basically disappeared. In my months of struggling and suffering, well, I had removed loads of unilluminated waste matter from my digestive system, <sighs> meaning things could finally sort of move through. Yeah, you basically lost all the fat. That is the first thing that goes. And now you start attacking your muscles. Yes, you are very ripped here. This is why the layman would think you are athletic. But if you compare it to the frame that you had prior to this, you see that you lost at least 10 to 15 kilograms of muscle mass. Unhindered. But this took me close to a year to do. With the juice fast, it would have taken me three months and I would have removed all the filth that was still inside of me, even mm. after those two and a half years of raw. Sure, now, bro. all I just said about juice fasting also plays a big role in getting skinny during your transition because of malabsorption. Now, at the end of my bodybuilding phase, That's why. I started to notice that I couldn't maintain my weight and strength anymore. I wasn't happy with this. So my remedy was to eat more and more, but this made it all worse. At the time, I didn't understand why, but now I do. After years and years of abusing my digestive system, my bowels were so constipated and backed up. Yeah, but now you're not abusing your digestive system by simply drinking vegetable and fruit juices. That the food I was putting inside of my body sure. simply wasn't getting through. It couldn't be absorbed properly. I had created malabsorption. And by eating more and more, you I added it. on top of this problem. Now you afterwards, created. I switched to a vegetarian, then a cooked vegan diet, and eventually a raw food diet. But up until that point, nothing had really changed. I had still been adding to the problem. So when I switched to raw foods, I had limited to almost no absorption left. Now I made sure during my transition to eat 3000. What would you absorb in those raw foods? Let's be completely honest here. You have no fat soluble vitamins, no bioavailable protein either. You have a bunch of anti-nutrients, especially in those green juices, a bunch of oxalates. What do you want to absorb? 1000 calories of raw foods a day. But I was still losing weight rapidly, getting skinny whilst being bloated at the same time. He doesn't get it. All right, let me cut you off right there. You are losing weight because you're not absorbing food. But why didn't you lose weight on your junk food diet? Absorb anything. It didn't matter how much of the raw food I was pumping in. It wasn't getting through as it should. This is the case for many of my clients and loads of people who reach out Dude, to me. Dude, you're just getting sugar and vitamin C. Now you're starved. You're at least 20 kilos lighter than you used to be. Obviously, now you need less calories and you're cannibalizing yourself quite literally. If you keep on pushing this, you're gonna die. Daily basis. That's Now it. on top of all of this, my body was also very toxic. You remember those three weeks of cleansing reaction hell? <laughs> I was so congested and filthy that my body basically broke down anything filthy, it couldn't say dirty. anymore. This is why veganism is a religion and raw veganism is an extension of that. Raw veganism, fruitarianism is the spiritual pinnacle of veganism where you're not only living compassionately, but you left your toxic body behind as well and you're transcending to a light being. Those people really believe this. And it would rebuild it later. 
This combined with malabsorption issues meant I was breaking down faster than I could assimilate or rebuild with food and digestion. In other words, yet again, a challenge to you. You seem to like to experiment. Why don't you just eat raw meat and see if you would have any malabsorption issues? Words. There was no Spoiler, way to get around no. this in the current state that I was with eating. It took me many months of weight loss and frustration to finally see this turn around. If I had known this at the time, that I could have wow. done a juice fest, flushed out my bowels, and fixed this malabsorption problem in three months time, I would have done so straight away. And I would have personally started with the slow transition of a month, as explained earlier, and then moved into a juice fest. Okay, Congrats. so those were the big things. And then you would be here. That I would have done. Great before. job. But what else would I have done? Well, I would have reached out to more people and gathered more information that way and learned from their experiences. Yes. Now, of course, there's many resources out there. For example, he's going to look back to this video and cringe so hard. Juice I've been there. My I know how it feels. My complete guide to Juice Fest and all my videos, they're down below in the links in the description. But there's many more people out there. <laughs> back in the day, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know much. But now you know. Learn from your experiences. Ask them, what were your struggles? What mistakes did you make? How did you overcome these obstacles? How did you make sure you <laughs> wouldn't make these mistakes again so that I could learn from it and not make mistakes myself and thus not be in cleanse reaction hell? Poor guy. I have to say I have sympathy for him because I was a vegan, a raw vegan and a fruitarian myself. He will wake up one day eventually and this will be very embarrassing. Help me so much. and This will help you a lot too. Help so you. reach yeah. out to those people. Yes. Ask them. Get into contact. Download the resources. Watch their videos and learn. So there you have it. That's what I would wow. do. I would transition to a... Fantastic. And now you're at a state where you lost all your muscle mass. And on top of that, you can't even maintain your definition because your body ends up in a super stressed state. This is when it tries to rebuild some fat storage through the fructose that gets metabolized within your liver. The end result is the skinny fat fruitarian look. Congratulations. Rafu died all over again, knowing what I know now, five and a half years later. Yes. I would not bother with that long-term approach. You're going to turn to the fruitarian bed man. And then suffer for months and months with bloating, indigestion, all kinds of constipation, all okay. kinds of symptoms, not being able to eat a salad or not being able to have a smoothie for months, getting skinny. No, no, no. No, I no, no. You <laughs> now you're jacked. Too <laughs> fast. And in three months, I would flush it all out, fix the problem. Oh, and then be bro. Stop it. This is the same thing that my clients are doing. They have been transitioning sometimes for a year and still having problems. And then they load a long juice fest and they flush it out. Now you might be like, yeah, but Nathan, you know, maybe it's not inside of me. Maybe this is not causing the problem. <laughs> Look, man, I was raw vegan for two and a half years. Then I did my long juice fest. I still had all this stuff come out of me, out of pockets and holes. It's there. It's causing all these problems. It's crazy. I would highly advise you to just jump on a juice fest, man. Get it fixed. Now, whatever route you choose, whether you choose the <laughs> slow approach and then a juice fest, or you're just going to go through the entire raw food transition, or you can just jump straight into a juice fest. Research it properly. Get all the resources. Okay, Nathan. Get. There's a raw food blueprint down below. A juice fasting blueprint. My complete guide to juice fasting. He's when you're imitating in the program, John Rawls. It took me two years on six different occasions before I realized, number one, I wasn't going the distance. And then when I finally went the distance, when I finally realized how much of a cesspool I had inside of me, a 20 pound cesspool, once I finally realized that, then I was motivated to not put anything in that had the wrong bowel transit time. He really tries to be him. There's a link to so you down adorable. below as well to get into contact with me. We can have a chat about that. <laughs> Whatever you do. Maybe I should call him just for fun. Do it for the best reasons. Do it in such a way that you don't have to suffer or whatever. And that you don't have to go through a long-term process of basically having to struggle. Yeah, but that is impossible. When you go vegan, you will suffer. Get the quickest route. Just do it use first. All right, that's it. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Have fun with this. See the fun in it. Maybe if you're struggling, it might not be so much fun. And remember, you don't have to be bloated or in pain. You can just take it away. It's been six months. That's okay. Maybe it's time now. Ah! Not again! There has to be a way! Okay. All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. I really wish you well, Nathan. You seem like a likable guy. I don't want you to keep on suffering. Five and a half years on a raw vegan diet is too long for anybody. Honestly, even a few months is already too long on a raw vegan diet. I really hope that you will see the light at the end of the tunnel and reclaim your health. Guys, if you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.